Okay, hello again and welcome to another math lesson. This time we're looking at the logarithmic laws. Okay, just like we had exponential laws, you remember we had laws like if I have, if I multiply two bases uh, that are um, same bases, then I can add up the exponents. That is an example of an exponential law. Now, as you know, logarithmic uh, logarithms is just a different way of writing exponents. So we also have logarithmic laws, even though they are similar but somewhat different to the um, exponential laws. Let's just first remind ourselves again what um, what what is a logarithm. We said if we have a base and an exponent, and we calculate that and get an answer. This is called the exponential form, okay? And then we saw that if uh, to write this in the logarithmic form, we have the log, the base here becomes a subscript to the log. The answer that we calculated from this expression is the, we call it the input to the log, that's the input. And then the answer here, actually what it is, is log is asking the base, what exponent must I give you to get this answer? And so the answer he would give is the exponent. Okay, so that is uh, what logarithms is all about. So let's look at the first few logarithmic law. So let me call it LL1. Logarithmic law 1 says that if I have log, with any base, okay, and my input is one. Put it. Uh, I'm going to put the input in brackets. My input is one. My answer will always be zero. Well, why is that? Well, let's go and write this in the exponential form. So the proof comes directly from the definition because b, the base, with exponent 0 gives me 1. Okay, So because the base with an exponent 0 gives me 1, if I were to ask any base, base, what exponent must I give, uh, give you to get 1? He would say, well, 0. Any base will ask you that, with the exception when b is not equal to 0. So we will assume our base is not equal to 0. So that's the first law. Whenever the input of the logarithm is 1, the output of the logarithm is 0. Okay, let's look at logarithmic law 2. Logarithmic law 2 says if I have a base and my input is the same value as the base. So this is a 2 and that is a 2 and the answer is 1. Again the proof follows directly from the definition of logarithms okay being a different way of writing exponential expression. So if I take this base with that exponent 1 my answer will be b. So that if I were to ask log if uh, of any base, what exponent must I give you to get an answer of yourself? And then we know, okay, it just means I must give it an exponent of 1, because anything to the power of 1 is still itself. I hope that makes sense. Now, because the other logarithmic laws are a little bit more complicated, um, easy, easy to understand, maybe a bit more complicated in the proof, I'll do them in the next videos. Just um, as far as you can just summarize this in words, whenever I've got a 1 in a logarithm, the output is 0. Or whenever my base and my input is the same, my output is 1 or my answer is 1. Uh, let's stop there for now and I'll see you in the next video where we'll look at a few m little bit more complicated ones, but still they're not so bad. See you there.